Hello and welcome to another episode of Blasticated Painting. Today we're going to be painting Sherlock Holmes. Nope. Today we're going to be painting Dr. Doolittle. Nope. Today we're going to be painting Iron Man. That's the one. So we have yet to paint any Marvel Crisis Protocol miniatures on the channel, so I'm excited to do this. Let's get into it. First thing we're going to do is give this guy a spray of silver. You can do this from any metallic rattle can. Then we're going to move on to, yep, Blood Angels Red. And this is going to be put onto all the parts of the uh, armor that we want that red color to come through. Definitely check online for your paint scheme, get some reference photos, find out where it's supposed to be red, where it isn't, or just make up your own. I mean, it's your miniature. Then we're going to switch to Nasdrag Yellow and all those spots that we left silver. Yep, we're just going to put it on there to get our gold color. Then we're going to switch to silver and we're just going to put this on his arc reactor on his chest. Turns out this is a thing we're doing that doesn't matter. Um, we're changing it later. Then we're going to take some Berserker Bloodshade and we are literally going to cover the entire miniature with this. So it's going to deepen that red and it's also going to give a bit of a different look to the gold. My, it's going to make him look a little bit more regal. I don't know, I'm just saying words. Next, we're going to take some Luxion purple and we are going to put this all over the metal piece that is on the base. So I chose purple because I'm pretending that this is just part of a sentinel and I think they have purple. And if it doesn't, it uh, doesn't matter. Looks good. I like the contrast. Then we're going to switch to somber gray and this is going to go on all the concrete uh, cement parts of the base. I don't know the difference between concrete and cement. Are they the same? I'm not a scientist or a construction worker. I'm neither of those. So we're going to take Blood Angels Red and Silver next. We're going to mix those together to make a light red metallic. And we're going to use that to layer up all that red that we put on before. Just take your time going through it, leave the recessed parts dark, and just kind of work through, get some of the edges, get some of the layers on there, and just take your time. Next, we're going to take some Naz Drag Yellow and some Silver, and we're going to do the same thing we just did with the red, only with the gold. And we're going to switch to Arctic White, and we are going to use this to uh, put some weight on his arc reactor. Also, the uh, jets that are on his hands and his eyes as well. If you spill over in the eyes, that's okay. We want a little spill over to make it look like it's glowing. Just make sure that if you do make a big mistake, you get your gold and go back in and fix it. Then we're going to take some Pilar Glacier. This is going to go onto all those spots we painted white to give them a bit of a blue glow. We're also going to put this on the exhaust jet coming out of his foot. And 
We're going to switch to Space Wolves Gray, and this is going to go on the smoke at the bottom, but we're also going to blend it into some of that Pilar Glacier. So make sure you get to that while it's still wet, so you can kind of wet blend those colors together. And we're going to take some Amethyst Alchemy, and we're going to use this to dry brush up that Luxion Purple that we did earlier. We're going to take some ghost gray and we're going to dry brush the concrete bits that we already did. And we're going to hop back to our Arctic white and we're going to use this as a very gentle highlight with a dry brush on that concrete. Paint the rim black on this guy and he is done. And here he is. And you know what? I'm pretty happy with this. He looks pretty good. Um, I really like how the red turned out. And I really like the gold and the base. I, honestly, I'm, I'm really happy with how it looks. So this was a super simple way to paint this guy. Really easy, really nice and quick. And um, gives you a little bit of help with your brush control when you're doing the layering. And um, yeah, it's a fun project. A lot of metal. None of it's iron, but anyway. I was definitely on Team Captain America during the Civil War. Uh, iron Man was a bit of a stooge. Let me know in the comments below whose side you were on. So, is anyone interested in seeing any more Marvel Crisis Protocol tutorials on the channel? If so, let me know in the comments below. Um, I have filmed two other ones, so you will see those regardless. Uh... But if you don't want to see any more after that, let me know down below. Please remember to take a look at our terrain giveaway video. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment and you are entered to win that set of terrain and we will send it out to you. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all of the YouTube stuff, and you guys have a great day. Please remember to take a look at our terrain giveaway video. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Today we're going to be painting a ridiculous Black Sabbath song. Nope, I mean Iron Man from Marvel Crisis Protocol. <laughs> Stupid. Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated... God, it's the name.